Hello, this is um, Ankan Basu, and it's a small video where I want to show you how to use the how to get the area like acres or in square feet when you are doing a doing like geologic projects and stuff like that. Most of the time, it's 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 necessary for us to know the area of blocks and mine areas and stuff like that. And if you have a CAD file, there are a whole bunch of things that you can do. And I'll just show you a couple of quick tricks. Um, there's an inbuilt command called area. You just have to type A R E A, hit enter. Then it's asking for a specific first corner, or point, or object, something like that. So let's start over here. So I'm going to do it for this block. Uh, maybe let's make it a little bit complicated and maybe do it for this block. We want to know the area. So we'll start there. And I'm just kind of uh, selecting the end point of this block to make it kind of match what I have selected. And that's going to be my end point. And, and I have now selected the area pretty pretty good and I hit enter when you do that here you get a number area 1072324 and that's in square feet because I have my map uh, the the default unit isn't isn't feet and I have the perimeter which I don't need I was just looking for the area now I already have the area somebody already helped me to figure out the area um, he told me that it's 24.64 and that's in acres which is the pink letter in here now let's check how close we are doing our area command if you click on that and select your quick count you get a nice tiny little, little cal calculator here all you want to do is type 107 how do we do that here we go, let's see, 107, and this is in square feet, so I have to divide it by 43,560 to get my area in acres. If I do that, I get 24.61. Seven. So and and I have twenty four point six four nine nine. The guy whoever did it for me, he told me that's the area. So I know that I'm. I did pretty good job. Now let's see. Uh, let's go back and try the area command again. And this time, mm, type O. Here, instead of drawing out everything, I'm we're just gonna choose the whole boundary of that object if you O then it will say select objects right in here so you go there and just if you just take your cursor and, and just kind of put it at the top of that box you see it's it's getting highlighted yeah that's what you want to do and click right click on it if you do that normally it gives you your area but it didn't for some reason so I'm, I'm gonna try it one more time do it area then hit O then select object select it here we go now here you have 107374.80 that's again it's in square feet so we're gonna try the same thing and see how close we are so now let's see now this is our results 24.6498 24.6499 so now we know we are exactly the same so this is how you actually get the area of, of, your, of, of your blocks now I, this is a mine map actually that I'm working with and I'm trying to figure out the area of the unmined area and these are the blocks which they did not mine so I pretty much have to calculate the area of the whole mine boundary and then figure out the area of the individual blocks that they have not mined then subtract my my area for the unmined blocks from the total mine area to get my area for the mined area now uh, 
if you're working with a farm they may have uh, special applications built in like we have an application that we use the app load command to load the application and, and, and here we have an application called plan 14 let's see if we can find it here we go and if you have something like that you can also select it and just hit load and it will say that your app load has successfully uploaded that, that plugin and what it does now you can type plan 14 and it will ask you to enter the scale of the map for this particular map I'm working with a 200 scale and this one is pretty good it's asking me to select the internal boundary so let's go back to our difficult one like this one and select it a point inside the boundary and it's asking post area without subtracting any other areas yes post it without little line yes is posting okay for the last area I say yes is text location okay I'll say yes so if you notice it, it has actually put a number inside my boundary and that's the number I'm talking about that's 24.65 which is pretty much the same as 24.65 so I hope uh, you can use my little tutorial to calculate area for your need and thank you for listening. Have a nice day. Bye bye.